Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer, and guess what today is? It is monthly horoscope. It's September. And how are you all feeling? Because I'll tell you what's going on. This whole new energized, look, there goes Mary. She's just walked through. Um, this whole retrograde stuff is now ending. Thank goodness. Okay, Mercury retrograde is now ending which means good things are coming to everybody obviously it's going to happen to some of our horoscopes more than others so let's get to it aries all right stagnant times are over for you okay this is your job opportunities and this month job opportunities will be on the rise for you so this is where things start making progress. Thank goodness, you say. And it's time to get your hair and clothes in order because this is your networking month. This is where you've had that time over the couple of last months where you can now reassess yourself, what you want to do, and this is your month to go and make it happen, okay? My lady, her, her little saying that I like writing in the end of it, she says, time to put into motion all those dreams you've made over the past month. Wow, good on you, Aries. So now we move into Taurus. The energy for you has also turned. Time to do that song and dance ritual. Oh my God, people are noticing you. Woohoo, and it's time to dust yourself off and shine. The habits that you want are now ready to be grabbed. So if you're looking to start a new hobby, you wanna start new routines, this is your month to get it all in order for yourself. However, as my lady says, be humbled by what comes because that is how respect is earned, okay? Gemini people, last week of September is your boom time. All right, so be patient over the next couple of weeks, okay? Start to manifest now all what you want, for soon it, it, it may all come to you. This is also your relationship month. Communication and negotiation is key again. Now, you guys just had that a couple of months ago. Communication and relationship, and it's now on the cards again, okay? So this is also your time to look at all future successes with loved ones. Mutual agreeance is coming from that communication this month for you guys. So my lady, her message for you, stress can be created unless time management skills are used. So don't stress yourself out guys, if you get too busy, okay, it's time to communicate and maybe even delegate jobs to other people. So now we move to Cancer. Hello Cancer! Your month to take stock of who you are and who you want others to see you as. Okay, emotions are running high and fear may try to sabotage any future successes. So this is your time to take stock of yourself Cancers so you are as confident as you possibly can be. My lady, her message for you this month, pause and use logic for all your decisions because you may fear the unknown of what may come. So Leo, this is your finances month. Oh, reevaluate what money has been going out. So you can assist, so this can assist you with budgeting. It's also time to let go of things that no longer serve you. So if you have signed up for something that's a monthly subscription and you think, wow, I really don't use that as often as I should, maybe this is the time to get rid of that so that extra money is now in the bank for other things that you can spend it on. Stay positive as your good mood will be addictive this month with others. Others will see you in social situations and those people will create what you put out around you. 
So when you leave your house, be in that great mood so it reflects onto others. Now, my lady, her saying for you this month says, influencing others to be their greatest has its own rewards. Wow, what good words are those? So now we look at Virgos. Now, Virgo, happy birthday, because some of you have got birthdays this month. And that's why it's your relationship month. Not only look at who you love and look at who you have relationships with. You know, I have a relationship with my pet cat. So have a look at all your relationships this year, this month. Who are you associated with and what's the relationship going like with that person or animal? You may have a, a relationship with your car. You could have a relationship with your job, yes? So this is the time to go over the errors from the past and acknowledge any areas of improvement that you have within yourself. Passion and romance always starts as a spark within ourselves and then it attracts to others. So this is your month to look at yourself first. How much do you love you? So others reflect that love too. So my lady, she has given me a message. Spiritual evolution always starts with loving self first. Wow. So it's time for you guys to really look within, isn't it, this month? Whoa. Okay. Aries. Mercury retrograde. Oh my God, that's all I'm going to put out there for you guys. But we've, we've finished Aries, so I don't have to go back over that. So now we go to Libra. Okay, you may have a... Yeah, I know, I'll tell you what I just did. I started reading Aries again, didn't I? Duh. Because I have it all listed here on a piece of paper, what I'm talking about. So there you go, you just got a little, a little bit of an insight about how I do my horoscopes, guys. Libra. Now... From the 22nd of September, you may have birthdays coming. So this could be where you have depleted energy. And that is never a good thing, guys. So always take time to recharge and energize yourself. This is your month to get into that long bubble bath or take that walk in nature to recharge you. Appreciation is always a good way to make yourself feel good. So if you have a birthday, this month, be careful of overindulging. Time out is actually time within. That's the message from my lady. Now, you may want to think about that because I thought about it. Time out is when we take time out for ourselves, right? Is actually time within. So do all those with um, mental um, psychoanalyzing of yourself this month. That's what my lady's saying. Time out is actually time within. Scorpios now. Accomplishment month. Woo hoo. Time to look back and really look at the good things that you've created in the past. This is the month where you use appreciation and gratitude are your keys for you this month moving forward. So when you identify things within yourself that you did really well, or other people saw it in yourself and they said, well, you did that really well. That's this time to take stock of those things and say, wow, should this be something I pursue in my own future? Okay. Wearing too many hats can be a bad thing, guys. So reevaluate what you truly want to do. Okay. Now, my lady, she says career changes are likely. So dress for the part. If you want to be a lawyer, start dressing like a lawyer. If you want to be a mechanic, go and hang out at the car shows because this is where you dress for the part of what it is that you truly and passionately want to be involved in. So now we go down to Sagittarius. This is your progress month. Frustrations, oh my God. Now, frustrations are due to impatience. And over the past few months, how many frustrations have our Sagittarians had? It's now starting to clear out for you. Thank goodness. Possibilities and opportunities are now coming for you. So please keep your eyes open for all those great things that can now come to you. 
it's also now time for you to revamp yourself and to have have you know if you've been feeling like that aeroplane that's stuck on the holding pattern for too long this is your time now to land that plane get off the plane walk down that red one way and shine to people so that they see your capacities and they see how great you are so this is your time guys to stay open-eyed and really look for all the possibilities that are coming for you so your message from my lady she said a new wardrobe brings new attitude wow okay so now we go to capricorns and it is your boom month boom 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 okay out with all the um out of all the good comings that this month's bringing for everybody capricorns are getting the full throttle of it coming to you guys this month you know things are changing energetically thank god all for everybody this month that's what i'm seeing with all my horoscopes but capricorns you guys are getting the brunt of it and it's coming so hold on tight and be aware of everything this month as you like being in charge this is a month to take the bull by the horns and run with any career or hobby changes that you want to make whatever you guys want this month put it out there and let's hope and pray that the universe grants it because this is your month to absolutely shine so my message from my lady she says karma gives you what you need not what you want so think about that when you start manifesting guys so let's now go to over and have a look at aquarians this is your confidence month you know aquarians are still pretty confident people but this is the, over the last couple of months you guys have really had it a little bit hard so wanting to do something new takes guts and it takes determination and a lot of strength to pull it off but this is the month where you can do that if you look at that confidence within yourself that you may have been lacking over the last couple of months okay this is your time to really look within and look at what you're passionate about so it comes to fruition for yourself you can be selfish this month that's what your horoscope says and it's okay to take out time for yourself and to do what you feel is right you don't have to justify what you do to others okay it's okay to let them just think oh yeah she's taking or he's taking time out for themselves this month so my message for you guys this month don't let others tell you what to do this is a real confident changing month for you guys please grab it by the by the horns and run with that okay so lastly all our pisces babies you know i'm just going to go there and tell you first i'm a pisces and for the last two weeks you wonder why i haven't done them you know we're now on to the 4th of september and i still haven't done my horoscope you why you wonder why you're wondering why because i am overthinking everything at this point and that's actually what the horoscope says it's our overthinking month this is the this is the month where pisces are going to be the ones making 10,000 lists we'll be thinking 10,000 thoughts at once we're going to be over exaggerating everything that's going on so please keep your emotions in check this month guys so this is the month where we're going to be thinking about all those things of i wish i had <laughs> now they're not regrets because i don't have regrets and i hope you don't either but any pisces just remember all those i wish i had geez i wish i'd gone to the movies last week or it could have been geez i wish i went on that holiday six months ago so this is the month now to really stay motivated through that mental chaos that pisces are re renowned for because manifestation with pisces is always so real we do create what we think about so the more we sit there and psychoanalyze and overthink stuff we're creating that chaos within ourselves so it's time for us to make that list then cut off all the things off that list that we really don't need on that list 
So we've only got the basics and then release back to the universe all the stuff, all that chaos, all that overthinking that we've done. Because it's time now for us to put into motion what it is we truly want to do. And the funniest thing is, my lady, because I'm a Pisces and I'm, I'm open with her messages, her message was time to write a book. So think about the things that you've always wanted to do. Have you wanted to write a book? Have you wanted to go on that holiday? Have you wanted to start that new job? Don't overthink it. Just release it back to the universe and let the universe make it happen for you. Okay? So that's this month's horoscope, guys. Sorry for the delay. I hope that you've liked it. Please comment below if it does ring true for you guys. Share it to your friends if you think that they'll want to hear it too. And I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks again. Bye.